What's up, people? It's your boy, D1 Neil King, back at you with another video. And as you can see, I'm going to be doing a rim, well, if you can't see, you see now, cleaning video. You see my rims? These things are filthy. These things have been filthy since the day I bought this car many years ago. This is an old car, guys. I do not have any luxury of having a fancy dancy new car. It's an old car. But if you'd have seen these rims before, actually, let me, let me, let me pull that back. If you'd have seen my front rims, before I did this video, um, um, did the cleaning on the on the, these wheels, you would you'd have been like, whoa! They had so much brake dust on. Them. I thought they were rusted out. That's how bad the brake dust on them were. These are minor. These, to me, even though these are filthy, these look like like shiny rims compared to the ones in the front look like. But I tried many different things to clean these rims, and it was ridiculous because I could not get them clean. I mean, I was rubbing, 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 and it looked like it just put a haze on it, and and the stuff never moved. I tried many different things, and my wife tried gave me one um one item after we finally went through a few things that actually cleaned the rims. It went from this to this. Let me show you. Bam! Come on, y'all. Look at this. You would never have known that these rims were worse than the ones in the back. I swear to you. These things were so bad that you would be like, how in the heck... Did they come clean? I tried many different chemicals that, that, that I thought would work, and it didn't work. Now, I know I didn't clean in between the, in between the um, things, as you can see. I didn't do that, but I can get that another time. It's not a big of an issue. But the rims themselves are so clean. I wish I had it before and after because you guys, you would have been amazed. But we're going to do a rim cleaning, and I'm going to show you what we exactly, exactly what we use to clean these rims. That, and it, these are aluminum rims, so they may help you in the process. Okay? So let's go. This is the, this is the, this is the after, right? And go right back to the before. Oh, boy, the difference is real. It's real. So we're going to do this in a little while. We're going to come out here and we're going to do the rim cleaning. I'm going to show you what I use and what you can use if you have rims that's just filthy and hard to clean with standard cleaning methods. Okay? Do you want to your king? I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, people, we are in Walmart. Came to find this cleaner that my wife was talking about that she let me use a little bit of. And, um... I'm gonna see if I can find it here. Let me see if I can pull it up on the phone to show you exactly what I was working with. Bam, this is it. So, all I gotta do is find this, and I'm good to go. And it looks like I found it. Right there in the bottom. All right, but let me say something, guys. Prior to this, I was trying a few different things because I really wanted to see what was gonna work for me. So I was trying the wheel cleaners, and, and, and I was gonna get a wire brush, and I used a toothbrush, and nothing was getting my wheels clean and I was like frustrated like man what can I do you know so she was like oh use this use that use this and I tried different few different things and then she said wait a minute I had this in my car so she pulled out this stuff and I put it on a rag and it cleaned it right the heck off guys the deep set one that I was using a toothbrush on and I was even gonna buy an uh, uh, uh what do you call it uh uh Scru uh, metal brush, what do you call it? The copper metal brush. And it didn't make, it, it, I didn't get it, so I'm trying to get it. But this is all I need right here. It's $8.44, or I can get the small one for $5.47. I think I get the small one for $5.47 because you don't need that much of this when you're cleaning. It's not like it's it's, it's major because I only have one rim left and I use a little bit a little bit that she gave me. So we're going to do this right here. We're going to go back, we're going to find a, a, a mat, we're going to put a mat outside, we're going to go and clean these rims. I'm going to show you just how this, how quickly and how nice this stuff works. Guys, this stuff is awesome. Alright, D1 and King. Be back in about two or two when we find all, all the stuff we need and we're gonna go ahead and clean these rims. I'm gonna show you. If you have any problem with your rims, please try this. My rims are aluminum. You know, they're not I don't have mag I don't have um those 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 expensive rims have, have aluminum rims. And I'll tell you right now, this did the trick. I didn't do all the inside as you seen that I didn't get all the in the cracks and crevices to get the deep 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 one. But just enough to make to make it clean around the outside. So we're gonna, we're gonna bust that out and we're gonna um, come back two and two. Do one near king. Okay, people, so now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna clean the rims. I'm gonna show you. I got the gloves on already, got my gloves on. I'm gonna be using the Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish for this, right? Uh, I got my my rag to clean off with, you already know. So we're gonna use the regular, regular old rag. Now you can see how it looks here. I'll bring you in a little closer. You see the grime on there. So we're gonna take this rag here, I'm gonna rub it around. Ooh. I didn't need that much. Rub some on, as you can see here. And we're going to hit that rim, right? Just like this. All right? And watch it just come 
right off. As you rub it, it comes right off. So it goes from looking crazy black, crispy, crunchy <laughs> to, to shiny clean. Now you have to rub it really thorough and you have to do it a couple of times. You can't just do it once. It will come off part mostly once, but you know, you want to really, really get it, get it down and dirty in it and get it off. So you want to hit it a couple of times. But I see that one little spot there is not really cooperating. So I'll take it, I'll dip it in again. See that right there? And I'll go around, I'll go around the whole side here. Just to, you know, get the grime off. It comes off really well. Yeah, this, this is, didn't know anything about this until my wife happened to pop up and say, Hey, I got something you can use. And this is it. And it works so, so, so good. You let it dry, of course, as well. So it can really do its thing. I didn't know that as well. My wife told me also I have to let it dry. So here I am. I'm using an excessive amount now because I have a, I have a, this brand new bottle and I, and I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? So this is what you see me doing. I'm using this using an excessive amount of this. I'm using my one finger, which is kind of weird because it hurts the finger. But I'm using it. I'm doing it. Going around this side. But yeah, this is what we do, guys. Um, it's been this thing has been dirty since I had the car. So I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit, and I'm gonna show you how how it looks after it's done, and I'll continue the rest of it after the, afterwards. I won't do the whole rim, you know, on camera because it'll take too 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 long. But I will show you what, what it looks like when it cleans, you know, certain certain situations, certain spots, how clean it has come, and then you'll get the the gist of just how well this stuff works. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this, let it dry, and we will be back in two and two. Just to show, oh, you, see, you, you see how dirty that remember top is. Let me hit that too real quick while I'm on this. You see this. You see this. This is filthy. This is this thing is filthy. I mean filthy, y'all. The other one I thought was so bad. I, thought, I swear to God, I thought it was rusted. I'm not kidding you guys. I thought it, the damn thing was rusted. And I was ready to try to find me a new pair of rims. Figuring I need to do that. But after my wife showed me this, I realized, nope, don't need that. Just need to clean these things thoroughly. That's all. And it takes a little bit of elbow grease. You have to be able to take a little time and pressure, push it on there. Your finger, hand, however you want to do it. I won't use a brush ever again. I'll just use a rag. Oh, let me get this little corner here because this corner here is bad. All right, let me put the top back on my, uh, my item here. And I'll just go ahead and I'll keep on scrubbing and I'll show you. Now you can see that one little spot is really hard right here. This spot right here wants to be difficult. But I'm going to keep on pushing past that little difficult spot. And show you just how well it works. Alright, do you want to King? We'll be back in a few. We have let it sit for a few minutes. And you can already see the difference in the rim. If you can't take a look at it, you can see the difference. Um, this part is still hazy. This part is hazy, but it's, it's got the shine to it. So we're going to take the, the micro, microfiber rag and we're going to go ahead and buff it. Buff out the uh, area that we've completed for now, just to show you just how well this product works. This product is freaking awesome. Again, I thank my wife very much for showing me this product, letting me know about this product that she had, um, because I was really trying to figure out how we're going to get these, these rims clean, or if I need to get some new rims because they look terrible. You know, even though I just drive a car, it's not a big deal. You know, just sometimes you want to have your, your 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 tires looking, just looking glossy, you know. And um, this is what it is. Sometimes I just want my tires to look glossy. And I let it sit for so long. Don't ask me why I did that. I don't know why. I just didn't go ahead and do, and do this in the first place. And try to find a way to clean them when they were clean. They were never this clean, though. When I got them, they were, they were never this clean. This is, this is clean. They were never. They were, they were nice, but they were dull. You know, so... Now they're actually clean. We have cleaned these rims. And I'm going to go ahead and, and do some more on it. That's just not done. But I'm just going to show you the, just show you what, how far I've gotten with this. With what, I, what I've done, you know? Just a little time I've, I've been doing it. I want to spend more time on these rims tonight. Finishing them up. But I just want to get this video done. Show you guys just how well the stuff works. And it will be much better. And I will show you the completed version after I'm completely finished. Boom, now look at the difference, here we go. I'm gonna take the phone off and show you.
take it off my hook. This is what we this is what we did. Next. We went from we went from this to this in a few minutes. Only a few minutes. I mean the shine is crazy. Oh, I, I did do this as well. Since you can see this, I also put some here in the middle here. So you can see there's a difference there as well. <laughs> Whatever you hit it with, it it will shine through. So I'm showing you that. It's just let me help go ahead. You see the middle? The other part I didn't really do, but the middle is shiny. So yes, this stuff works guys. If you're looking to fix clean your rims properly. Oh, I got some more stuff on my on the bottom of the rim. Then you go ahead and get you some of this uh Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. The proof is in the pudding, guys. Look at that. Look at that. And when it's finished, I'm going to show you the, the entire thing. From that to that. Do when you're king. Like, share, share, like, share subscribe. Um, I'll be dropping a video every five to seven days. One or two videos every five to seven days. Tell me what you think. You like the way it looks? Will you get some for your rims? Do your rims look like this? And it will work. I'm telling you. If you pull this right off like it was nothing right off and that right there i was using a brush to clean and it still would look hazy it wouldn't come off this stuff works come on peace this is the finished product we have done it it is completely clean for now i'm not going to go over this again unless i need to but look at that the entire rim hold up may, may, maybe i should put my flashlight on is my flashlight on yes it's on okay you can see the gleam you see that i have the rim shining from top to bottom if i miss anything i will go over it later and, and fix it but up until then this is it it works perfectly. Get yourself one of these micro microfiber cloths and dust that joint off, and you are good to go from top to bottom, baby. Do you want your king? Rim cleaning. Mother's mag and aluminum polish. Did this. Took it from ashy to classy, as Biggie once said. I'm out. Peace.